Okay, all right. I see the numbers amassing. And this is encouraging. Perhaps it's time to discuss your conditioning regime. Yes, unless you're a naturally greasy bastard like me, you're gonna need some sort of conditioning. Conditioning is what keeps your goatee distinct from your sideburns, okay? To use a, a beard metaphor. Uh, your conditioning doesn't have to be reliant on mass-produced multinational corporate products. Um, a little later in the season, maybe we'll get into foraging some uh, locally growing natural type herbaceous plants to create our own beard balm. Look forward to uh, beard balm later on. Without conditioning, you tend to get these little little segments that uh, sort of want to go their own way and they all get together in a tight little tight little knot and uh, it's hard to break them up and the longer you leave it unattended the bigger a problem it gets you catching my drift here you gotta get on it early and you gotta keep everybody lined up and in a row, it's just how it is. It's how it's always been. For some reason, it's the naturally greasy bastards like me that tend to be the ones putting the conditioning program on all the rest of you. It's important for you to realize that your conditioning is an ongoing process. Like, don't go thinking that because you were conditioned once at an early age in a showy, pageantry-filled sort of way that, that you're somehow conditioned for life. I mean, maybe you are, but it's like thinking one baptism keeps your head clean for the rest of your life, and it's just not the case, okay? You gotta stay on top of it you got to be committed to it. It's important too to realize how crucial it is to get a good rinse post conditioning. Now you don't want to get a buildup of conditioning to the point where you cannot distinguish between the conditioner and the thing that is being conditioned. All right you got to maintain some level of natural self. Is this making any sense? Am I speaking in beards? Perhaps I am. But that's something you need to get conditioned to. And you need to be conditioned to the fact that it is now and has always been totally acceptable to be beard laden and if you have an afghan don't be afraid to enjoy it people ask me all the time about these conditioning regimes that claim to result in thickness an increased thickness and I will confirm that there is an increase in thickness but it is not the kind of thickness that you want it is not the girth and strength it is the thick skulled sort of thickness. It's not the kind you want. Be aware of that common pitfall. Let me remind you that conditioning is part of a greater process that begins with a stripping of the pre-existing uh, naturally occurring conditioners. In fact, it's those very pre-existing conditioners that would keep the artificial conditioner from taking a hold. Let's think about that for a moment. 